Hello, everybody. You're either watching or listening to Outlier TV. I'm your host, Georgie Speakman, and we have the beautiful Dana Backett. She's just come off an island um, this morning, haven't you? Literally. <laughs> Rolled off Catalina, Catalina Island. Yes. Um, yeah, which is really wonderful. How fun, babe. Nice, That's cheeky so nice. little getaway. And now you have to do it post Mid-week. Labor Day. <laughs> yes, midweek after Labor Day, which just means everybody's back, so they're emailing you. But it's much more calmer. Yeah, I bet. No one around. No one around. So nice. Yeah. Um, so thanks for coming in today. Um, for those who do not know Dana Backett, she's first and foremost a friend, but she's also a crazy, amazing female entrepreneur that's really elevated the space in social impact um, across a bunch of different initiatives and clients and work. And she's just launched her brand new educational platform. Um, she's writing a book. She's <laughs> recently been appointed as a digital producer for American Idol, was it? Yeah. Yeah. So she's really kicking ass. And she's only been in LA for five minutes. <laughs> so <laughs> everything happens in LA in five minutes, right? Um, yeah. Does it? <laughs> Why is that not happening for me in five minutes? <laughs> Why is he doing something wrong then? Um, no, that's that's the immigration delay. That's a whole other issue. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, obviously the CEO founder of Positive Equation. So where would you like to start on you? Oh, man. There's so much <laughs> going on. You just listed off everything. Um, no, I mean, I've been in LA for just over a year and have had my company's like a toddler. So company was started last April. And it's been really, it's been a very interesting and formidable toddler year of my company in really understanding. Lots of tantrums. Lots of tantrums. <laughs> <laughs> and Terrible growing, teams, yeah, yeah, and understanding kind of what I wanted out of a company. I mm-hmm. think I just started it because I felt like I could do something on my own. And then, as you know, when you become an entrepreneur, you kind of segue into different things and yeah. really understand, okay, why did I do this? Am I still doing what I'm passionate about? And then kind of pivoting to get you there. Um, did you feel that you kind of like, yeah, largely a gut instinct following first of all, so you trusted that. And then almost like you tripped into the opportunity to fa- find your company based yeah. off your sheer drive and ambition, passion. And then, as you said, just like going with the flow to try and navigate the waters of where, where and how and why you want to show up. Um, it's the whole scrappy startup journey. It is. And there's it a is. lot of ebbs and flows to it. It's been right? really interesting. I've gone to a lot of conferences where it's entrepreneur centric. So create and cultivate. And a lot of women are in between side hustling and their full time job. Mm-hmm. And they said, well, what, when do I know when to start? And I was like, you don't. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> you you just don't. do it. <laughs> you just, you just kind of take a leap of faith and have some sort of like, if you can, some savings behind you and hopefully some clients to start depending on what the job is or the mm. business is. But sometimes you just kind of leap and say, in. yeah. And go for it and, yeah. and roll with the punches, right? As they come to the forefront. Yeah, and have good friends <laughs> that support you along the way. That you can chew the fat yeah. with, that understand the journey for yeah, sure. Definitely. Um, so tell us about Positive Equation. Why Positive Equation? What is it about that, that, that name, but also like the whole trajectory of social impact? Like why was, you know, has social impact been so important to you? Yeah. Um, and then I have a tendency of asking 10,000 questions in, in one question, but also <laughs> like how that shows up in social, which is really the, the essence of, of what the offering is of the business. Yeah, absolutely. So positive equation, um, gosh, was it a, a few years ago? So I was working in New York City for a PR firm uh, mid-sized PR firm and I was in our digital division and growing up I always volunteered and did mission trips and nonprofit work and then when I started working in New York City and working with these large clientele at the same time there was a shift of people talking about conscious consumer and all mm-hmm. these new documentaries mm-hmm. coming out mm-hmm. and I started to pay more attention to okay well how are we inserting this into our work with our clients currently mm-hmm. in a large agency and then I launched um, DKC Impact, the PR firm was DKC, Mm -hmm. and launched an impact program where we would take on three nonprofits at a time, work with them pro bono, and then our employees could then choose um, to volunteer on X nonprofit project Mm -hmm. that was going on. And then we were just inundated with requests. And three months is not a ton of time to make a really solid impact. So it was kind of understanding and seeing that and seeing the need from Mm -hmm. organizations that just don't have large agency budgets. Mm -hmm. And then my passion behind that. And then 
B, I just loved social media and seeing it in the space. And I was like, okay, these two could play really well together. And I want to give more experience to these companies. I can only hire junior. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, and then I read Aftel's book. Yes. A which is friend of ours. how we actually met. That's how we got connected. Yeah. So Aftel wrote this with Bobby, wrote an amazing book called Good is the New Cool. And it was kind of the... I just, I needed to read that to be able to jump in and say, okay, I'm ready to start my own company to do this. So the purpose and what positive equation stands for and what, what we do is work with those companies and clients. So purpose-driven organizations that might not have huge agency budgets, but they need senior level experience mm-hmm. in executing social media campaigns or work. Mm-hmm. So that was part, I think like A and B of your question. <laughs> A, B, C, right through to the end of the alphabet. (laughs) Yeah. Um, The name was funny. The name was literally just me on the subway writing words down. Because I also, I didn't want a company name that was all feminine. Because I work a lot in sports and entertainment Mm -hmm. and nonprofit. And I didn't want it to seem like I only do pretty things or... (laughs) Right, right. Um, So I wanted it to be... Or soft things. There's a notion that social impact is gentle, soft humble and then I guess if you're a woman there's this in natural assumption around femininity being injected right. in all that you do when- right like my font is not italicized <laughs> or cursive right. not to say there's anything wrong with those but I just wanted something bold mm-hmm. um so that was kind of behind the name it was literally writing down notes on the subway and nice. I was like, these two words and it just came to you yeah, yeah. beautiful very yeah. organic which is yeah yeah a nice way to go about things yeah and okay. then um I mean social media and the purpose space is everything. I mean, you look at, I mean, Nike recently coming out with their ad and how it's blown up on Twitter with Colin and everything basically now and news wise, will start with a tweet announcement. I mean, our current president, for instance, like if something goes on, there's a tweet that goes out. Um, if somebody's leaving an organization, all of the scandals, like everything about me too, there's social impact is innately part of social media and vice versa Mm -hmm. in today's landscape well part of it is a a consciousness right it starts with a conscious awareness there is a why what are the layers i'm i'm here to ask you the questions what are the layers of social impact that need to be considered when when a brand or a human being is showing up to the social landscape i think there's a lot but i think it just has i mean the number one word and everybody talks about it is authenticity so if your if your brand wants to get involved in women's issues like does that actually make sense Mm -hmm. or are you forcing yourself to be there Mm -hmm. um so i think and there you're right the why has to be there it's either what are our employees saying and thinking about in the social impact space that's really important or else they'll call you out for being fake (laughs) (laughs) and then your consumers yeah yeah same space yeah like that doesn't make any sense why are we doing this or that's amazing this is exactly what we should be doing um, it's really serving the almost conscious evolution of humanity as it as it pertains to in the business space because I mean who, I, people can doesn't matter if you're an everyday person no one no offense to any of us regular people but like um, what you're doing on social doesn't necessarily matter so much but it's just the overall like through line of, of conscious evolution right and just general consciousness towards how brands and everyone are showing up. And I think even Facebook, I think in our local communities, like just between friendship groups and and family members and just whoever it is in your immediate sort of friends on Facebook, people are are posting more and more and more conscious conscious driven um, material, whether it's like on the environment, animals, you name it. Absolutely. Well, and they're also, Facebook in particular has done an amazing job last year um, for Giving Tuesday, which is coming up, I can't believe we're in September. Um, But for Giving Tuesday last year, they used to have a 5% fee for anybody who donated through the platform. Mm -hmm. And that was a big deal for Giving Tuesday. There's millions of dollars donated through the platform and Facebook removed that fee. Mm -hmm. So there is no fee for you to donate through Facebook fundraisers or through the donate button for any causes on the platform. Which is amazing. And I'd see so many more friends go, hey, come and join my birthday, which is a fundraising party. Yep. Yeah. Which is really, really nice. Absolutely. Thank you.